Hey, this is Burke, and today I want to talk about how to get and set control values in NativeScript. I've got a simple application that we're going to use today that has a, uh, a label with a message and a text field where we can enter a new message and then a button. And when we press the button, it should change the messages. So let's take a look at what this application looks like. Pretty simple here. We just put in something else and then we click the change it button and this profound message would switch to something else. None of this has been implemented yet, so let's go ahead and do it. Now, in order to get these control references to these controls, they need to have IDs. They've already got them here. This is message, this is new message, and this is change it for the button. And then we need a place where we can actually reference these references. And we'll do that in the page loaded function here, right here, page loaded. So let's go ahead and implement that. If you remember, every XML file has a corresponding JavaScript or TypeScript file of the exact same name. So we'll go here and we'll just create a page loaded event. Now we could do it a couple of different ways. We could do exports uh, dot page loaded equals function, but this is TypeScript. So we can do this a whole lot better. Let's do let page loaded equal, use some sweet new uh, syntax for creating functions here. And then we can come down and say export page loaded. And that will do the exact same thing as saying exports dot page loaded equals function, blah, blah, blah. Okay, inside of our page loaded function, we're gonna get some args in here. And if you remember before, those args are event data types. So let's go ahead and pull that in. We'll say import from, uh, uh, sorry, event data, and then say from data slash observable. And we're also gonna need the page module, so let's bring that in. Import page from UI slash page. Now, once we've got this, we can strongly type these args and say this is event data. Awesome. And then we'll just say uh, var, or we could say let. Either way is fine. Let page equal page. And then args dot, remember, object. There we go. Now we have a reference to the page. Now, in order to get references to our different controls, like our labels and our buttons, we need to actually reference those off of the page object. And the way that we do that is by using page dot get view by ID. Every control in NativeScript is considered a view. So you could imagine that this would say get control by ID, but it's always gonna be get view by ID. Now to make this a little bit better for ourselves, let's go ahead and bring in these specific control types we're gonna be working with so we can strongly type them. The first one that we have is a label. So let's import label from UI slash label. There we go. And then let's import, sorry, text field from UI slash text field. Sweet. Oh, and look, TypeScript's telling us this doesn't exist. I bet it's because text is text dash field. Look at how good I am. And then lastly, we need a button. Button has two Ts and we'll import that from UI slash button. Excellent. Now we can start to strongly type these things. So we can say let old message equal, and it's a label, so we'll strongly type it, page, get view by ID, and it, I believe it was just called message. We can always jump back over here and check. Um, it's, yeah, it's just called message right there. And then let's get a reference to our button. So we'll say let, or the new message, let new message equal, remember it's a text field. Let's do that. Page, get, again, get, they're all views, so get view by ID, and I think we called it new message. And then lastly, we'll do the button. Let change it equal button. And we said that it was page, get view by ID, change it. All right, so now we have references to all of our controls. Now we need to add an event to our button where we can actually change the value of the message. So let's do that. The way that we add events is with the on message. So we change it dot on. And then if we go back over here, you can see it's actually prompting us and it's saying you may want the tap event. What are the different events that we have? That, a tap event is what we want. Every, it's gonna be a tap, so let's use that. Oops, let me go back, bring my IntelliSense back here. And then the callback. So the callback is a function, so we can say uh, args here, and then we can use that same awesome function syntax that's in ES6 and TypeScript right here. Now, if you're not familiar, if you don't like this function syntax, that's okay. We could have just said function args, like this, and this would have been the exact same thing, and that's totally fine, we can do that too. And we know that args is what? It's of type event data, because all of our args, the event, uh, excuse me, event, uh, events are event data. Okay, so let's do this. Once we're inside this event, we wanna say the old message dot what? Text 
equals new message dot wipe text. And that's it. We've now gotten all of the references to the controls. We've added an event to the button and we're now swapping out the old message with the new message. So all of this should just work. Let's jump over to the app and see if we did everything right. Here we go. So let's put in something else, change it. And now we have something else. Great, so we can change control values at runtime. That's awesome, but normally you don't do this in NativeScript. You can, but there's an easier way and it's called observables and we'll get into those next time. Thanks so much, enjoy.